Happy New Year! Welcome to 2019, y'all. We made it. We made it. We made it. We made it. 2018 was a very trying year. I'm going to give y'all my breakdown of my 2018 and let y'all know the, the struggles that I went through and tell y'all, you know, why I've been back and forth with videos and no videos and how I even got started with, you know, making mukbangs because I, I don't know if I ever shared that story and the people who brought me to it. So I got this big seafood extravaganza to start out the new year. I got the big old lobster tails and the king crab. Just a few thumbnails there. I got mussels, I got corn, I got broccoli, I got shrimp, y'all. And of course I got the B-Love Smackalicious sauce on deck. But all the good stuff. Mmm. 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 Y'all know I got the lemons. I got the lemons. I got the lemons. So, let me tell y'all about my 2018. And what got me started with making my YouTube. So, I'm going to try not to, you know, get too emotional with y'all. But I'm going to be very transparent and let y'all know what's been going on. So, 2018, I got really sick. I couldn't eat. I couldn't drink. I couldn't do anything. So, constantly vomiting and things like that. And I'm just like, you know, what is going on? So, I went to urgent care. And they're like, oh, you have a stomach virus. So, they sent me home with medicine. I said, okay, stomach virus. But I just kept vomiting. I couldn't hold down anything. So I got to a point where, it's going to sound a little bad, but I was vomiting blood, y'all. Blood. And I was like, no. This is not okay. So my, my friend was like, we have to go to the hospital. So we went. They told me the same thing. Oh, you have a stomach virus. I said, no. Y'all, I need something to do with my shells and whatnot. I said, no, this is not a stomach virus. This is something much worse. Like, someone needs to see me. So I demanded that someone see me. And luckily I did. They went ahead, they did x-rays, things like that. Long story short, they found out that it was not a stomach virus. It was actually stomach cancer. So... Y'all, these muscles are really good. I'm sorry. So they admitted me. They're like, you have a tumor in your stomach. That we have to cut out. So I'm freaking out. I've never had surgery before. Mm, let me try. Y'all have never had the corn with all the, the onions and ginger. and. Mmm. Mm. Mm. So yeah, long story short, they they cut out the tumor, and I'm I'm undergoing months of chemotherapy. Mm. This going is so well, y'all. And while I'm going through it, I still can't eat much. I can't drink much. So I see a video floating around Facebook of this lady. She opening King Crab and she's saying, I got it, y'all. I got it. I got it, y'all. I got it. And I just thought it was the most hilarious thing. So I go to her YouTube 
And I now discover what mukbangs are. Mukbangs, mukbangs, you know, however you pronounce it. Tomato, tomato. So I'm watching her. I'm watching her eat. And it was giving me a sensation that I couldn't get from food because I couldn't eat. <clears throat> And it was none other than B Loves Life. So I'm watching her videos daily. And I'm getting full of eating, you know, watching her eat. <clears throat> so then I start to see other people. Prissy P, Flavors by Dane, Eat With Q, Steph and Tasha. And now I know that the mukbang community is big and they were helping me get through the hardest time I've ever experienced in my life y'all so I told myself if they can help me with this I want to do this and maybe help other people you know because if it helped me, I'm sure it can help someone else. So when I was able to eat, I created my own channel. But I wasn't able to eat, you know, as much as I would like to. Which is why my videos have been, you know, spaced out like that. Because it would be times where I, would, I wouldn't really be able to eat. And I didn't want to put out a video that wasn't up to par, you know, especially because I am a new channel and I'm, you know, I'm trying to get my name out there. So, mm. y'all, this crab is so good. Oh, I cooked it to where I might not even need scissors. Okay. Mm, all the ginger. These things are so sharp. Mm. But yeah, so that is my story and you know I don't I'm not saying this because I want anyone to feel sorry for me or anything like that definitely don't I, I just want people to understand where I'm coming from so they can know when I do get to where I'm going the struggle that it took to get there and the hard work and dedication and the people that helped me get there because if it wasn't for these youtubers I don't know what I would have done. Like there were times where I couldn't leave my bed and I would sit there and be depressed. But watching their videos would make me happy. Mm. Y'all, so I've made B Love sauce before. But I can never find the, the sushi ginger that she was using. <clears throat> but after going to four stores today, I finally found it. Uh-uh. You better get back on there. And y'all know what I do when the seafood is good. If you've seen my old videos, I do the seafood shuffle. Do the seafood shuffle. Do the seafood shuffle. But yes, I appreciate B Loves Life. Flavors by Dame, Eat With Q, Steph and Tasha, Prissy P. I appreciate y'all so much because y'all definitely helped me during the time of need. And I, I just can't thank you enough, honestly. Even if y'all never see this video, hopefully someone that's close to you or hopefully it reaches you somehow. Because I just want you to understand my appreciation and the, the thankfulness that I have for you all. It's much bigger than 
sitting in front of this camera and eating, y'all helped me get my life back. Mm. Mm. So, hopefully my videos can reach someone the way that those people reach me because I needed it. And I know it may sound weird to y'all. I don't know, but my story is my story. It is what it is. All right, now I gotta use the scissors. But, but it's far. I gotta get all the white meat out of here. Y'all, this sauce is so hot. Not necessarily spicy, but not hot. It's definitely fresh off the stove. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how much more I'm be talking. Cause this food getting good. Well, it been good, but I don't know what I'm trying to say. Mm. Be love so no it can get everywhere. And I got some <clears throat> handmade country style lemonade. Y'all, this broccoli is so good. If you don't eat broccoli with your boy, I don't know what's wrong with you. Seafood in a minute. Mm. I'm try to. Open up the locker. Yeah, I hope I cooked it right. I'm not much of a lobster cooker. 
much of a lobster either, either. You know, I prefer just crab legs. Oh, I'm popping shells and whatnot. This lobster tail was complicated. Okay, you wanna give me a hard time. That's fine. I don't like all this extra skin, y'all. I just don't like the texture of it. But we're gonna go ahead. That lemon on there. Mm. Look at all that. Y'all, it's so good. I swear I do not like the texture of this extra skin, y'all. See if I could cut it off. It's kind of coming off for the most part. Maybe if I <clears throat> do this, it'll make it easier. I feel like I'm tearing this up still apart, y'all. But it's fine. We're going to get it to how I want it. Y'all can come for me in the comments. But I don't like this extra skin. Want to eat your meat off? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. I just do not like the extra skin. Mm. See you. That's a big old lobster tail. Hmm. But y'all, tell me y'all New Year's resolutions. And tell me how you plan to stick to it. You know, because sometimes we make New Year's resolutions... And by February, we didn't gave up. Mm -mm. Ain't none of that. This lemon squirt everywhere. Mm. No, this box is so good. Try some lemon on there. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Y'all, I'm making a mess over here. I'm gonna have some stuff to clean up. <clears throat> Mm. 
I'm getting a little full. You know how you want something so bad? You just be craving it, craving it, craving it. Then when you get it, you get full quick. This is with corn. stuff everywhere that lemonade is so good Yeah, I wish I had nails to get this corn out of my teeth, but it is what it is and what it ain't. This is what it ain't. Mm. I'm going to need me a toothpick or something. Mm. Oh. Hate when the seed get on there. Be messing up my mojo. When y'all were little kids, did y'all ever? Y'all better not judge me. <clears throat> did y'all ever think if you eat the seed to a fruit or something? that that fruit will grow inside you. Like, I used to think if you eat the seed of a lemon, a lemon would grow inside your stomach. Like I said, y'all don't judge me. I was a child. Mm. I halfway believe it now. You can't put nothing past science. Nothing. I got five minutes left before my camera call. Y'all gonna eat this last piece. And then I'm out. <clears throat> mm. 
It just looks so good. I don't know if I finished it, but yeah, I'm so full. Mmm. Gotta tap out, y'all. Put my hand. No, this lemonade is so good. Shout out to the hands that prepared it. Mm. This was my seafood extravaganza for the new year. We bringing in 2019, right? I'm back on the YouTube grind. And yeah. Like I said, thank you to the people who helped me get here, even though they don't even know that they helped. Yeah. I appreciate you. And I appreciate YouTube for even giving people a platform to do something like this. Whoever would have thought. So, yeah. Thank y'all for watching. This is Travel Cordell. Shout out to the Cordell crew. I'm out. Peace.